Welcome to C3 Experience today. My experience this morning was awesome. The message was everyone has something. It just depends on how you use it. It was a very explosive message this morning and I was blessed by it. Three things that we need to change when things are not happening in your life. Number one is your belief system. We have to change our belief system. Number two, our behavior. What is our behavior towards people? We might need to make adjustment to that. And the third thing was our emotions. How do we handle things? How do we display emotions? How do we react to things when they happen around us? So this morning we'll be talking to many other people who have attended this service to ask what their experience was like today. Our well, service was awesome. I yeah. really had a nice time. Yes. And um, the word today was really great for okay. me yeah. because Pastor talked about the the fact where we the miracle is in our house mm -hmm. and that the fact that we don't have to in quotes believe all those motivational talks. Where they're actually good, but in a way they could um, make you. You know, not seeing the reality of things. Yes. And so that really would help in. Well, that means before this year runs out, yeah. um, you should um, make out some goals you mm -hmm. plan to achieve in 2020 yes. so that you end 2019 well yes. and you, you come into 2020 with a bank. Uh <laughs> Too many. Well, let me just mention the first yes. one. He said, God never starts anyone from the top, at the top. Mm -hmm. He will start you from the bottom. Exactly. So you have something in your house. Mm -hmm. It might not be as big or as lofty as you Wanted, wanted it to be, yeah. but then start with what you have. What you have, yeah. Pastor has been talking about finishing 2019 strong, starting 2020 big. What does that mean to you, sir? It is something really I've been looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. So um, finishing 2019 strong yeah. means um, you are ending 2019 not broken. Yeah. And then my plan for 2020 should exceed that of 2019. Yes. So starting it in a bigger way than 2019. The topic today was everyone has something. But it depends on how we maximize what we have. What is your takeaway from Pastor's message this morning? Okay, so my takeaway is um, you don't have to be discouraged with what you have. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Even if it doesn't work with people around you, maybe you yes. have to try more and be sure that yes. it, it's not possible it's not going to work. Because yes. according to what Pastor said, since it's from God, it definitely will work. So when you're praying and you're praising, listen yes. to people around you be very observant because yes. someone is going to say something to you that if you think about that thing is really going to um, amount into something for you yes, to work with. So it means I should not give up on the remaining days of mm -hmm. the year. Mm -hmm. Something big can still happen mm -hmm. and once it happens I should not think because 2019 has ended I should yeah. stop with the flow that I used to get what mm -hmm. I got. I should continue that way so that 2020 so can 2020 be better than 2019. Be. Our, our current day reality is mm -hmm. we all focus, Christians, we focus on prophecies mm -hmm. and um, our faith. We try to speak yeah. confessions and all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pastor made us understand that there's a place for confession, there's a place for our faith, mm -hmm. and there's also a major place for work. Mm -hmm. So he emphasized on Genesis, I think, 2 7, yeah. where um, it talks about how God formed man in with dust, you yes. understand? So it just makes us realize that, okay, so even God himself, who is the greatest, yes. um, takes priority to work and not just speaking it. There's still a place for putting your hands, getting dirty, yes. and then making sure that you make, put effort into whatever you want to come to pass. Yes. The experience was like wild. And uh, because Pastor, had, I think, d preached this message before, mm -hmm. and I've actually applied it, and I've seen God move. Okay. And especially in place of my employment, mm -hmm. where you talked about not looking down on those roles. Yes. I've basically been there. So th as a particular time, I, a role was offered. I, I looked down on it and I had to pray. Mm -hmm. God opened that to me and I took it. Mm -hmm. And that was like upliftment for me. Yeah. It was like a quantum leap experience for me. Yes. The pastor has always said, graves are actually not built from, uh, whatever is built from the top is a grave. Yes. And he, he basically, that's the truth. Yeah. God takes you down there. Even mm -hmm. Moses, he had to take him away yes. and start him from, mm -hmm. Very square. So I believe that's that's how God 
teaches you or it teaches you through that process. Yeah. To me, to me personally, it means praise actually. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm strong on praise this year than mm -hmm. I've ever been. I don't think I've been on, I've been strong on praise on previous years, but yeah. this year I've been strong on praise. It's not about a reflection of what the calculation of things I've achieved, mm -hmm. but it's about thanking God for those things yeah. and stand, standing on, on praise. God will always point you to what you have inside your house. He will always point you to something that you have. Okay, you may be talking about, and that's a problem I don't have. All right, Moses did the same thing. We see Moses' encounter with God in Exodus chapter 3, verse 11. It was this same story of, you know, I don't, I don't. All right, Moses said unto God, who am I? He says, the Lord said, what is in thy hand? And he said, a rod. 